Imagine is one of those very special songs in my life that I've always known and loved, but whose meaning has grown and changed for me as I've grown and changed. I remember hearing that line, imagine there's no heaven when I was younger and feeling sad. I don't want that to be true. I wanna know that the people that I've lost, the people that I'm gonna lose are there waiting for me in the end. But I don't hear it that way now. I hear him saying, imagine this is it. Let's live life like there's no tomorrow for right now, for each other, not for some future paradise. Let's make this paradise. It's so beautiful and so true and so wise. We are very lucky to have had and to still have John Lennon's spirit in this world. I started drawing pictures of John Lennon when I was a little boy in the 60s. I loved his voice, I loved his attitude. And so when I think of the song Imagine, you have to understand that John Lennon is one of my greatest inspirations. His music, his composition, who he was as a man, how he showed love to a woman, what he stood for, the great peace art movement that he and Yoko did. And I do try to emulate John Lennon because there's really, there's really not many people better in history. But I don't agree with the song Imagine entirely. It starts out with imagine there's no heaven and I, I can't imagine that. It's, it's impossible for me to imagine that there isn't a heaven or a hell. But after that, the song picks up steam and goes right to the top of the mountain. Hey everybody, I'm Lizzie Hale from the band Hailstorm and Axis TV's A Year in Music. Now, I've always thought of John Lennon's Imagine as part posing a question, part mission statement, and part instruction manual for how we're actually supposed to exist as human beings toward each other. And now, 50 years later, after John gifted this beautiful and powerful song to the world, it is still more relevant than ever. And I think it's time that we really sit down and hear these words, tattoo them on our heart, and finally let go of all of the petty differences and fear that divides us. We miss you, John. Peace and love. So when I was on the seventh season of American Idol, I sang Imagine for the top 20 week, 70s week. And it, it changed my life. That moment, I didn't realize how many people would connect to what I was connecting to when I sang that song. It's a really special message that is about when we don't know where to find peace, we can at least imagine it and start from there. And I feel like we can feel that as we listen to this song. Hi, I'm Roger Earl of Foghat. When the song Imagine came out, John made you think about what would otherwise pass for normal. He banged on the door of society's acceptance of so-called truths and made you imagine what could be. If you don't dream, how are you going to make them come true? Had John lived, I think he would have kept making us think through his songs and his feisty rhetoric. The world is a sadder place without John in it. Thank you, John, for all your music and all your input. Imagine. Monday, September 6th, Access TV honors the 50th anniversary of John Lennon's masterwork, Imagine, with a double feature, Imagine John Lennon and Imagine the Film. Monday, September 6th on Access TV. Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is, or who your favorite bands are, and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you, that's the point, all right? Keep it coming.